Hello guys, welcome to Coloring Rugs channel along with Chloe. In today's video, we will be coloring, grab your markers, and start coloring along with the best story with a nice moral at the end. Once upon a time, deep in the heart of a wild forest, there was a huge blue pool. Its water was clear and shiny, reflecting the bright sun. It looked calm on the surface, but something dangerous lurked below. That something was Gus, the biggest, meanest alligator in the forest. He had sharp teeth, a powerful tail, and eyes that glared like he owned the world. Gus ruled the pool with an iron jaw. He didn't like visitors, and if anyone came close, he would snap his jaws and growl, stay away from my pool. One hot afternoon, Gus was resting on the edge of the pool when he spotted something far away. A swan named Lily was gliding gracefully across the water, heading toward his pool. She was calm, her white feathers shining in the sun. Gus's eyes narrowed. He swam closer, the water rippling around him. What do you think you're doing? He hissed. Lily stopped and looked at Gus. I'm just swimming, she said, her voice soft but steady. This is my pool! Gus snapped, his teeth flashing. Get out before I make you leave! But Lily didn't move. She stared back at Gus. The pool is big, Gus! There's enough space for both of us! Gus growled and slammed his tail into the water, sending a big splash toward Lily. I said, get out! Lily stayed calm, but inside, she felt her heart race. Why are you so angry, Gus? She asked. Do you think pushing everyone away makes you stronger? Gus roared. It makes me the boss. This pool is mine, and no one tells me what to do. Lily floated back a little, watching Gus closely. You think being tough means being alone? She asked. Maybe you're strong, but what's the point if you have no one to share it with? Gus paused. He didn't like what she said, but deep down, he felt something, a crack, in his anger. Before he could answer, a loud crack echoed across the forest. The ground shook, and a huge tree branch fell into the pool. Gus and Lily both froze. The branch blocked the middle of the pool, and water started spilling over the sides. The pool was breaking apart. Gus tried to push the branch, but it was too heavy. He roared and thrashed, but nothing worked. Lily swam closer. Gus, stop! She shouted. We need to work together! I don't need you, Gus growled, but his strength was fading. He couldn't move the branch alone. Lily took a deep breath. You do need help. If we don't fix this, the pool will be gone. And what's the point of being the boss of nothing? Gus looked at the pool, then at Lily. His heart pounded. He hated asking for help, but he didn't want to lose the pool either. Fine, he muttered, but just this once. Together they pushed and pushed. Gus used his strength, and Lily guided the branch with her wings. After a long, hard struggle, the branch finally moved. Water rushed back in, and the pool was saved. Gus was panting. He looked at Lily and nodded. You were right, he said quietly. I couldn't do it alone. Lily smiled. Being strong doesn't mean being alone, Gus. It means knowing when to ask for help. From that day on, Gus still guarded the pool, but he wasn't alone anymore. He shared the water with Lily, and together, they kept the pool safe. Gus learned that strength isn't just about power. It's about knowing when to fight and when to work together. So, friends, what did we learn? Even the toughest need help sometimes. Now let's color that big blue pool and make it shine. And remember, working together can save the day. Bye.